kindergarten and first grade. We are on day five, our last day of reading. I have enjoyed this time with you guys so much. Today I'm going to be reading The Three Little Pigs. This is the story of three little pigs and one big bad wolf. The three little pigs lived in a house at the bottom of a hill. They lived with their mother. The big bad wolf lived in a house at the top of the hill. He lived all alone. One day, Mother Pig said, Boys, it's time for you to go your own way and to live in your own houses. Yes, it is time, said the first little pig. To go our own way, said the second little pig. And to live in our own houses, said the third little pig. So the three little pigs packed their bags. They left the house at the bottom of the hill. Goodbye now, their mother said. And don't forget, watch out for the big bad wolf. He eats little pigs. We won't forget, said the three little pigs. B is for big, said the first little pig. B is for bad, said the second little pig. Wolf is for wolf, said the third little pig. They waved goodbye and they went their merry way. Soon they came to a place where three roads met. I'll go this way and build a house, said pig number one. I'll go that way and build a house, said pig number two. And I'll stay right here and build my house, said pig number three. So each little pig went their own way. The first little pig built his house of straw. One, two, three, snip, snap, his house was done. It was not a very good house and it was not a very strong one. But who cares, said the little pig. I don't wanna work all day. I wanna dance and play. So he did. But someone was watching from the hill. Someone who likes to eat little pigs. The second little pig built his house of sticks. One, two, three, zip, zap. His house was done. It was not a very good house. And it was not very strong. But who cares, said the little pig. I don't want to work all day. I want to sing and play. And that is what he did. But someone was watching from the hill. Someone who likes to eat little pigs. The third little pig built his house of bricks. Now this little pig, he worked hard. He made a floor of wood. He made a door. He built his house brick by brick and he made a chimney on the roof. When it was done, it was a good house. And it was a strong house. Now I have time to rest and play, said the third little pig. And so he did. But someone was watching from the hill. Someone who likes to eat little pigs. Next day, someone came down the hill. The big, bad wolf. He went to the house of straw and he banged on that door. Little pig, little pig, let me come in, he called. The first little pig looked out the window. He saw the big bad wolf. No, no, not by the hair of my chinny chin chin. I won't let you in, said the little pig. Then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house in, said the wolf. So he huffed and he puffed and he blew that house of straw right down. The little pig got out just in time. He ran to his brother's house of sticks. Help, help, he cried. The big bad wolf is coming. The second little pig quickly let him in and locked the door. Now the big bad wolf put on sheepskin and he went to the house of sticks and he banged on the door. Little pigs, little pigs, let me come in, he said in a sweet voice. Who are you, asked the second little pig. I am a sheep, said the wolf sweetly. The two little pigs looked out the window. 
They could see the wolf's eyes under the sheep's skin. So the second little pig said, no, no, not by the hair of my chinny chin chin. I won't let you in. Then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house in, said the wolf. And he huffed and he puffed and he huffed and he puffed and he blew the house of sticks right down. The two little pigs got out just in time. They ran to their brother's house of bricks. Help, help, the big bad wolf is coming. The third little pig quickly let them in and he locked the door. The wolf came and he began to bang on the door. Little pigs, little pigs, let me come in. The wolf called, no, no, not by the hair of my chinny chin chin. I won't let you in, said the third little pig. Then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house in, said the wolf. The two little pigs were afraid. But the third little pig said, don't be afraid. The wolf can't blow this house in. This is a very strong house. He said to the wolf, go ahead, blow, blow your head off. We're not afraid of the big bad wolf. So the wolf began. He huffed and he puffed and he huffed and he puffed and then he puffed and then he huffed and he huffed, puff, puff, huff. His face got red, his ears got blue, his eyes began to water, but still he could not blow down that house of brick. Now the wolf was mad. He had to get those pigs. I know what I'll do, he said. I'm gonna go up the side of the house, brick by brick. Then I'll slide down through the chimney. The three little pigs heard him on the roof. He's on the roof, said pig number one. Oh, he's gonna come down the chimney, said pig number two. Pig number three said, quick, get a pot of hot water. They got a pot of hot water and it was very hot water. They put it under the chimney and the wolf came down the chimney. Plop, he fell right into the pot of hot water. Help, help, cried the wolf, I'm in hot water. He jumped up and he ran out of the house. He ran and ran and ran and he did not stop until he got to his house and he never came down that hill again. The wolf still lives in his house at the top of the hill all alone. He is still big, but he isn't so bad, and he never eats little pigs anymore. Now the three little pigs live together in the house of bricks. They play and sing, and they're merry all day long. Who's afraid of the big bad wolf? The big bad wolf? The big bad wolf? Who's afraid of the big bad wolf? Tra la 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 la. The end. See you guys.